Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. This morning during the live stream, Lance was requesting a video on uh, the how the how I use uh, the duckweed both as a feed and as a biofilter, and the uh, how it all works. So I can explain to you how it's going to work um, now that we have the first round tank completed. So you can see the water in this tank is very clear. That's because I had this pipe coming from the well uh, going in to this tank and it's now going into this tank. Uh, I'm going to be shutting this off in about 45 minutes uh, and the only reason I'm running it and running it so long is that we've already begun to fill the round tank. So you can see how clear the water is in this tank, how not so clear in this tank uh, and that's because the freshest water has been put here. Now you can see the water becomes, and I just added duckweed so it's not going to be as clear as it should be, but you can see the very clear water from the fresh water, not so clear, a bit cloudy, a bit more cloudy, more cloudy still, and that last tank there before it goes into the duckweed, uh, I'll pull out some of that so you can see what it looks like. And so the water goes in this pattern, it goes goes this way and then it meanders through and comes this way and out. Now, the those particular tanks do not have duckweed on a continuous basis. They're just, they, uh, I put it in there for the fish to eat as feed. These tanks here have no fish in them. Well, as far as I can tell, I haven't put any fish in them, but tilapia being tilapia, they could very well have some in them. So this is the first tank that uh, this water drains into. So you can see this last tank here, the water is not clear. It has sedimentation in it. It's got particles in the water, all right? It, uh, this is the first tank it flows into Quite a bit of sedimentation. This is the next tank. So you know, the water itself spent a small amount of time clearing in that. And you can see it's a bit less in this one, still quite a bit of sedimentation. Third tank. I'll try and clear this out so I can get the most water and the least amount of duckweed. Still some sedimentation, but I can tell it's starting to clear up a bit. And this, in this last tank, this is what is going to be going into the round tank. Still sedimentation, but it's cleared even more than that one. So you can see the progression and that's just going through these small, four small tanks here. How much this duckweed uh, clears the sedimentation out of the water. And it's not just that. It's the uh, <coughs> nitrates as well. Uh, and some of the heavy metals. Everything that the, the duckweed uses for nutrition is being pulled out of the water. And what this duckweed uses for nutrition to grow the fish is not beneficial to the fish overall. It needs to be taken out. And rather than going through the expense of a giant sand filter, which would, <laughs> as many fish as I've got, would have to be as big as both of those round tanks and changed often, uh, it's just not feasible. When you've got just one tank this size and you want a sedimentation filter, uh, yeah, you can make one out of a 55 gallon drum or a 20 gallon drum 
and fill it with sand and and uh, even plastic tubes cut up and it, and it will work. But on the scale that I'm doing it, it's just, I would need a huge biofilter. Way more expensive than what such a contraption would be worth. So, moving forward in the future, the water is going to come in from the pond. That's what that pink hose is doing right there. There's actually water coming in from the pond right now because I plugged it in. So, this water coming from the pond, right there, is going to be circulated through here continuously. I'm doing it right now mainly just to get the round tank filled up, but in the future that's going to be uh, the progression. I won't, I'll run the main pump maybe 30 minutes a day, if that, maybe 45 minutes somewhere in there, less than an hour. Uh, and this water will all be circulated through and it will go out that pipe and into the round tanks, uh, both, first this one and then this one, and then back into the pond. And that's going to be the basically the biofilter for the pond. It'll keep fresh, nutrient-rich water in both these tanks for grow out and that's going to get us through at least the first six to nine months of grow out as the test to see uh, how the uh, duckweed does as a, as a supplement. And hopefully the duckweed itself will grow in the pond and um, these will become less and less necessary as a filter and perhaps we could, uh, if we do get to the point to where we can produce enough uh, duckweed in the pond, uh, we can utilize these tanks for something else, like, I don't know, shrimp or more tilapia or crab or maybe the crayfish again, who knows, maybe something different. But we're nowhere near that point right now. And so the final uh, stage, I'll go back this way, the final little bit of this is after it comes through all the tanks, after it goes through these round tanks. We will, uh, the same way we poked a hole in the side of, the, of that round tank as a transfer, we're gonna poke a hole in this one. This will be the, the uh, drain valve, because it's already there. But we'll put a hole in this tank probably right about there. Uh, and that's, you know, eight inches from the top and uh, the, con the continuous water will come through that tank into this one and out this one it will go in this canal and eventually we will have uh, a concrete bottom all the way to the pond in this and it'll go back to the pond and that will be the circulation and that's how it's all going to work I hope it works well. I have confidence that it will, but you never know. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.